All right, guys, welcome back to Cavalry Rules. And <laughs> like, all right, let me just tell you, this is day number six. All right, so I still have a lead on anybody with cannon. Um, any normal human being should be able to get cannon somewhere on day 11. Uh, most other people will get it on somewhere on day 12. So I'm really about halfway there in terms of when your average player will get some cannon on day 12-ish. And here I am. Not just in first place, but in first place by far. And in a region that's not particularly known for being real dense. In fact, most of this Russian block here is very large territories. So here's where we stand now. Um, went ahead and captured a few more of these with just lone horsemen. Loved it. I mean, just lone horsemen. And then uh, this last territory up here, which is a double fish. You can tell I'm super stoked about that because I need the food. I need the food bad. Um, you know, I'm going to build me some factories, heavy duty factories. And, but then you know what I'm going to do? I'm, I can't build anything but cavalry, but I'm going to build them so fast on those double tiles. Like, so I'm going to have railways and factories on my double tiles, but everything else is going to be, I'm going to horse trade every other material, every other resource just to mass cavalry and see what happens. So <laughs> It's super fun. Um, I've got two more cavalry that developed down here. So they're heading north because north is where those large expanses are. I have two cavalry up here that are probing up to see what's going on up here. And then last time I went up here, there was one guy here. But by, since then, I've got five infantry that should be able to take this out. So I'm just going straight in. I hope I don't regret that. That is a level one fort with one guy in it. Two might develop. And if two develop in a level one fort, that could give me some grief. Um, but I don't think it's going to. Um, ooh, and this is question marks out of two, which means it's a damaged fort, which is even better for me. So that five should be able to capture this giant double iron, which I need. And then over here, I am absolutely going to capture this in about an hour 40 here with that intrepid horseman just kicking butt. So this is nuts. Like I've basically beaten Russia and, and don't get me wrong. I did get lucky, you know. Number one, I kicked the hornet's nest and he chased me. But number two, he chased me down a long territory that took him a long time to get through and gave me time to build up to a level three or level four uh, defensive fortification. I can't remember which, but it gave me time. You know, that's the thing is I was able to run right out of there as soon as I got on friendly territory, which uh, I can't remember exactly how it went down, but I think it was this one. I took this one. He took it back and killed, I think, three of my guys. And I ran on out of there with a few other guys that had, that had managed to escape. And uh, and then really just the entire chase out of here, I went three times to, as fast as him, got back right away, and then built up defenses. And and here I am with 16 guys. Oh, this, this needs to – oh, I need that horse at the front. I'm kind of glad I saw that. So if you don't look closely, the cavalry do stack uh, seamlessly with the infantry in the same way – that the armored car stacks somewhat seamlessly with tanks and infantry. So from afar, they have that look, right? So notice this look right here for the armored car. It looks just like the tank. It looks just like the infantry, uh, the uh, artillery looks when you stack them. So you have to zoom in closer. The same is true, of course, with the cavalry is they look like infantry from afar. So from back here, oh, it's an infantry. Then you zoom in and no, it's not. So just the distinction there is really between mech land units here and organic land units here. So, all right. Um, really, there's not a lot more to say. Um, some local politics are coming into play. Um, uh, Austria-Hungary reached out to me and said, oh, you want to team up? And I'm like, hell yeah, I do. Let's do this, you know. Um, I didn't say no coalitions. I didn't say no diplomacy. I just said cavalry only. So I'm real curious. Like I went ahead and said, hey, I'm, I'm casting this game right now. Um, apparently Germany over here is going to join us in just a minute. And also apparently Poland was somehow an ally and then they accidentally went to war. And uh, Austria claims that, that, that Poland is AFK, but I don't think he is. He doesn't, he does not appear to be AFK. So there may be some shenanigans going on here. I don't know, but uh, nothing but good news on my side of things, um, frankly. So I've got, just to get, bring up to, I have another cavalry developing here. That's one. Here's another one for two, three, four, 
five on my new double tile and six on this other new double tile. And I felt like at one point I had one more. I feel like at some point I thought I had seven building at a given time, but uh, six is all I can really find. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's what I'm doing. So, so um, just to bring us up to date, I do have what three in the North, I believe three more in the South, so that's six. And so um, pretty soon I will have 12. And once factories are allowed, I'm going to gain my, <clears throat> I'm going to lose my advantage rather um, in the fact that other people will have cannon and I will not. But what I'll lose in advantage, I will make up for in faster and faster growth of cavalry. So I'm just going to, and I've, I've kind of decided what I'm going to do is since I have two allies in Europe down here, that means I don't really have to stack super heavy over here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move some people over here uh, because it sounded like Austria is really struggling with Poland here. So we'll see what happens there, but it does look like he's going to be able to hold the line. I don't see a lot that Germany can do, especially if he's got an enemy at his back, which he does in Berlin, Germany. And by the way, they're going to join our coalition theoretically tomorrow after a cool down is complete. So we'll see about that. Um, but what I am doing for now is sending, I was going to send 16 over there, but let's send half and half because here's, here's the jewel of the North. If I'm able to take all of Russia here, which I hope to do, already took their capital, by the way, over here. That was nice for some coinage. Then my next goal is Northern Russia, North Russia, right here, right? Look at that double wheat, just begging, begging to be taken. Please take me. So again, I need to feed that food machine, <laughs> feed the food machine food. Uh, but that double wheat will help a lot. This double fish will help a lot. And don't forget also that my double wheat down here, nothing's happening. I, I don't have, oh, oh, I did. I actually got railways going here and that might be it, but I feel like, didn't I put one? No, I did not. No, I did. So I just got railways on that wheat for that obvious reason. And that's actually pretty smart because if I was going to put railways on another double tile, it should be another double food because I'm desperate for food. Um, well, I'm going to do it right now. I'm just going to get all I can of that sweet, sweet fish. Guys, I have a deficiency. <laughs> all right. So um, that's it, though. In just a minute, by the way, this red number is going to be a little less angry as soon as this guy gets there in an hour 34 and takes that, seizes that double fish for me. That's going to be really, really important, really good for me. And then, you know, a double iron doesn't hurt either. Another extra food tile and another iron tile up here. Um, I'm going to be sitting pretty as far as materials go. Still filling the burn from energy. Not a lot in sight to help me with that. But here's the thing. My popularity at this point, I've played it pretty cool. Why did I do that? Whoa. My popularity at this point is pretty high. 57%. So anything close to 60, I'm happy with. So this AI should not attack me in theory. And especially if there's more aggressive players, let's see what his popularity is over here, but it's pretty low. No, it's not too bad either, 53. So he just accidentally went to war with the guy to the north of him, that's all. And currently, apparently, they're taking on Great Britain. So let's see, well, they, Austria-Hungary, maybe overinflated his part in the coming battle with 12 guys streaming in. But he does have, oh, ah, and he is making some, some headway down, and I can see they actually do have shared map. All right, I'm not quite ready to give shared map to Germany, but if he joins the coalition, then I'll feel safe enough doing that. Um, by now, Poland sees what's going on over here, and he maybe thinks, my, what a lot of cavalry he has. But I haven't told him what, what, uh, what my game restriction is yet. And I did tell him, of course, that I'm casting, but I didn't tell him the name of the channel or anything like that. So that's going to be fun as we move forward. All right, guys, thanks for joining in to Cavalry Rules because cavalry does rule. They are OP. They are so great. And I'm proving it again in this game. Like we're not even close to factories and I'm about to win this game. I'm not about to win this game, but I'm, I'm doing pretty well. Got to tell you. <laughs> so these two armored cars developed in these squares where I, I stole them and then they developed. So I'm keeping them. We talked about this earlier. I have three captured armored cars now, which I'm totally okay with. I have no problem with that. Again, I will not build armored cars, but I will certainly jump in them and steal them. 
which is exactly what's up. And again, I'll, I'll bring them to the border where they're nimble and, and they can move back and forth to provide defensive support as needed. Because really, most of my war is going to be north. I've just decided. I just decided it online because I do need it. I need that additional food here. And I believe, yeah, there's another food over here. Look at that. A, a double fish and a double wheat. So if I only get those two tiles, I will be a happy monster. Um, I do need to fortify this pretty well, but it's so cool. Like he left behind a fort for me. That actually happened over and over again up here. I just walked into forts. Like it was so, it was so devastating that this player character, whoever he was, super noob, um, just swarmed down with 50 guys and two armored cars. And, uh, and that's just a terrible, terrible move to counterattack in that specific way when there's so much room to flank. And then of course it was his bad luck. He didn't, he didn't know and he couldn't have known that I'm moving forward with pretty fast units, relatively fast units here. So let's take a look at our friend. Yeah, instead of 36, like an in infantry, he's going 48. Um, so significantly faster, you know, not bad at all. So um, what would that be? Is that about 30, 33% faster, one third faster? Um, you know, it's not super speed or anything, but it is 12 kilometers faster. Yeah, that's 30, 33% faster um, than your average walking unit. And they just get there that much faster. You don't expect them to move that fast. So I'm loving this cavalry, absolutely cheering them on. My three armored cars will get there even faster because as you know, they go 72 kilometers per hour, fastest land units in the game, unless you get a railway, until you get a railway, I should say, because I'm gonna get some, I'm gonna get some railways going pretty soon. So great game so far, cavalry rules. Um, I'm not gonna build anything in this game other than buildings of course and cavalry that's my guarantee to you no gold marks no nothing just cavalry only and of course any kind of buildings that i need so this is gonna be fun it already is fun thanks for checking in guys i'll see y'all next time adios amigos